Today I'm going to be talking about 10 different ideas that you can do on your gap year, whatever that might be. Even if you don't have much money, these are ways you can earn money or not spend any money at all whilst on your gap year. So if you've got no money, do not worry, this is the video for you. If you don't already know me, I'm Joel, I'm a travel content creator here on YouTube, so please subscribe to me. Go follow my Instagram, I'll put it on the screen somewhere. That really helps me out, guys. So if you could do that, that's amazing. Right, let's start the video. Let's start with idea number one, which is the obvious one, Southeast Asia. Traveling around Southeast Asia, you could spend a month or you could spend probably up to a year traveling around Southeast Asia as there's so many countries to explore and it's also so cheap. So it's good for people who've got a budget in mind. I've actually got another video which I'll put either one of these corners, I don't know, and it explains everything about Southeast Asia. So go watch that if you are interested in traveling around Southeast Asia in terms of budget, route, itinerary, everything, that video will help you. So the idea number two is you could become a ski instructor or work on a ski resort. So these are the months in the winter, obviously, and you could do this anywhere, really. You could do it in Japan, all throughout Europe, Canada, America. There's so many places you can choose to go and work on a ski resort. And this is cool because you can literally ski in your own time and then work. And so you're actually earning money. You're not just spending money. And after you've saved up that money, money maybe you want to go traveling. So there you go, you've earned money on your gap yet and then you can go travel. Idea number three is you could go play for a sports team abroad. For example, I would go and play cricket for a club in Australia and you literally like, you become part of that foreign cricket team and you basically play the season and it's a really, really fun experience. I haven't done it myself, but I met a few people who've done various sports abroad and they say it's such a great experience. You're fully integrated into the club and it's it sounds so cool. I'd love to do it at some point. So the fourth idea is teaching English as a foreign language. I've met a few people who ha are actually teaching English in another country like Vietnam or China and they're actually earning pretty good money and they're, sometimes they pay for your accommodation and they pay for other expenses, sometimes even to fly out to that country. So that means you need no money and once you're in that country you're actually earning money. You actually need a TFL qualification, which is teaching English as a foreign language. And as long as you're a native speaker, you can get it fairly easily and it doesn't take too long. Right, a really popular thing to do is to go and work abroad, get a holiday working visa. For example, I worked in Sydney in Australia. I had a one year holiday working visa and I worked in a hardware store across the other side of the world in Sydney, living on the beaches, living the life. It was such an incredible experience and I do recommend it. There's loads of other countries you could do this for. If you, you can do it in New Zealand, Australia, Canada, lots of countries around Europe as well. So don't just go to Australia. There's so many countries you can choose and work abroad. I can almost assure you once you get to Australia or wherever you're working abroad, you're going to fall in love with the country and you're going to want to stay there your whole life. But normally you can either only get a one or two year visa unless you go through more technical stuff which I won't answer because I have no idea about. The next idea is interrailing around Europe. I did this for a month when I just finished school and it was a crazy experience. You can get an interrail pass, which gives you access to all the trains around Europe. This pass lasts from one week to three months. So whatever your budget is, however much time you've got, you can make the pass fit your budget and time. So it's perfect. I've also got an interrailing guide video, so if you want to go and watch that because you're interested in interrailing, I'll leave it one of these size. I still don't know which one. So if you've got no money, maybe you want to do volunteering. You can volunteer in most places in the world. Often you have to get like, you have to pay some money to go on these special volunteering expeditions or whatever they're called in like Africa or Asia, but there's actually a website called World Packers and norm normally these are completely free. So what you do, I've got a link in the description which you can click and to go on World Packers, you just have to spend a, a small fee like 50 US dollars. Once you've paid that $50, you get access to all these volunteering schemes all around the world. And often they pay for your accommodation, your food. And so you actually don't have any expenses whilst you're volunteering in that space. I haven't done this, but I am really looking forward to doing that next time I can travel because it's such a good way to save money and see a new place and really get into the culture because there's so many different activities you can do. So if you've got a skill like photography, then on World Packers, you can select the criteria and choose photography and people who need photography in another country and work for them for free. So I met quite a few people who did this and it's working as an au pair. So you can literally do this anywhere in the world. There's loads of different websites you can choose from. 
I can't actually recommend one because I haven't done it myself, but the people who've done au pairing say it's really good and you get your accommodation covered, your food covered, and sometimes you even get pocket money. And if they're pretty rich, you can get some healthy pocket money. Plus, you can live in a nice family home, not in a hostel or just in a cheap accommodation. Sometimes you stay in some luxury homes. I had a friend who lived on the beaches of Bondi um, in a huge mansion and, well, she was living it up. I was pretty jealous. Another thing you can do is Camp America or Camp Canada. And what you do is basically you go and work in these big American summer camps for like three months and then after that three months you can go traveling around America or, or Canada and with the people you've been working with and it's such a crazy experience and is one I'm probably going to try out at some point because it looks good fun. Camp America and Camp Canada are quite competitive so if you've got a special skill or you've got experience working with children then this can help you get in for example being a lifeguard. Okay, the final idea which can help you earn money wherever you are in the world. If you're suddenly struggling and you're running out of money, you can do this and it will help you keep traveling. And that is working in hostels. There's hostels in pretty much every country in the world. Probably not North Korea. Any way. There's pretty much hostels everywhere. So you can actually work in these. They need people to work in hostels to make it a fun experience. Sometimes you can be like the party leader or you can do the cleaning, do whatever the hostel needs and you often get accommodation paid for. Sometimes you get food and if you're really lucky, you might even get paid a little bit of money. So this is a great thing you can do wherever you are in the world. If you're struggling a bit for money or whatever, you wanna stay in a certain place but you don't wanna spend too much money, then work in a hostel is a great experience especially in expensive countries like, I don't know, Greece or Australia, then this is a great way of saving money because accommodation is expensive, even for hostels in those countries. As you've seen, you don't need loads of money to go on a gap year. You can even earn money and then go traveling. You don't need loads of money, so don't let that stop you. Okay, if this video was helpful, please, please hit like, and I will see you next Sunday for another video. See you later.